Yes? It's Riley. Of course, Miss... Hi, Howard. Oh, hi. Tell me about the off. I understand you've also had the pleasure of speaking. Yes, let's. He didn't send you here to convince me to. No one sent me. His offer is very attractive, but I usually work alone. I don't like, or worse. So you don't plan? Oh, no. Marsetti could offer me all the tea in China, but. Bye, Howard. Goodbye. What do you say about these? Well, how did you get these photographs? Unlike in your movies, in real life, a detective spends most of his time. I don't usually run into. De did you follow me to black? I'm not a blackmailer, but it. Ms. Weber. Susan. Right. Howard looks like a pretty impressionable guy. I'll have to change slightly the reason why Harvey Weber hired me. Her father asked me to find her and tell him... Kidnapped her? What are you talking about? You don't have to tell me that. Tell Mr. Weber. He's a six-foot-tall, 200-pound butcher. Especially if... And you want to give these pictures... That's what I... I'll pay you twice. I'm a rich man and I can pay... Don't start emptying your pockets. I've already told... What do you want? You aren't going to give them some... You might be... You help me. Okay, I'll do... I have an offer. It looks like you're in the good graces of Marzetti, and that could be helpful. I don't get it. It's simple. Get Marzetti to leave his office long enough for me to take a look around. Are you joking? I don't want any problems. You already have having an affair with me. Me? I don't know how. You said that Mart. Yes. Good. You're crazy. I'll never accept. I don't care if you. That's enough for me. You're terrible. Maybe you're right. I sit at the bar and I order what, in this joint, is called a cocktail. I see Howard passing behind me and heading upstairs, but not before tossing a malicious glance my way. Relying on that sort of producer to get Marzetti away from his office isn't a great idea, but it's the only one that comes to mind at the moment. While I wait for Howard to come back, I drink my cocktail. Simply disgusting. There's enough sugar in it to kill a diabetic. A few sips later, I see Howard coming down the stairs. This time, Marzetti and his bodyguard are with him. It looks like that two-bit producer actually did it, and I'm in the clear to go look around that big shot's office. I'd say it's the only way I can get in. Let's see what Marzetti's hiding. A closet. 
And this totem definitely takes the cake for the most garish thing in this place. I wonder how they could pick out something like this. That's an odd thing to keep on. Sorry, but I must have been at. This series of discs doesn't seem like a simple knickknack. And this totem, I wonder how they. Sorry, but I must have been absent when they were teaching the rain dance. It's and this totem, I wonder how they could. And this, to I wonder how they. A safe inside a totem. I love classy things. Hmm. I need a combination to open the safe. I don't have time to figure it out. I need to find a quicker way to open it. I'd better leave them there. Ethnic art isn't for me. I'll take one. It could be helpful. From the smell of it, I'd say that this glass had brandy in it. Good idea. I can use the glass to hear when the cylinders of the lock click.
I opened it. I'll take a wad. I'm sure it's dirty money, but it's better off in my pocket than in Marzetti's. Yes, I'll take it. This notebook must have important information in it if Marzetti thought it needed to be in the safe. I'd better think of... can't think of any. I don't understand these idiot producers. First he wants to talk business downstairs and then he changes his mind. He just wasted my time. Mm. Oscar, do you have the office keys? Mm. Damn it, I must have left them on Howard's table. I'm going to get them. You, stay here. Dannazione. Howard didn't keep Marzetti away for even ten minutes. I have to find a place to hide right now. Yes, a closet is a good place to hide. Hmm. I left the office open, but I was sure that I locked it. Oscar, make sure no one disturbs me. I have to make an important call. Hmm. Hello? It's Marsetti. How's the search going? You had more than two hours and you still didn't get anything? And who is this guy? Jack Del Nero. A private detective. Let me guess. Is he Italian? How do I know? Simple. That guy was here until five minutes ago. He obviously gave me a fake name. Maybe he's still in the joint. I'd better go with Oscar and ask this guy a few questions. No way! We gave you more than enough time to take care of this, and you failed. And now we'll take care of it. Oscar! Mm. Let's go. We have to talk to our new friend. Something tells me that my next conversation with Marzetti won't be as cordial as the previous one. I'd better get out of here. Going out of the door is out of the question. I guess the windows are the only way out. The signboard is in my way. I'll take the spearhead. It's not very sharp, but it looks rather strong. Going out of the door is... I don't see how I could use... Beyond this signboard, there are some fire. The mounting of the sign to the wall doesn't seem to be in. I could try to lift it with the spearhead. Let's see. I can't think of anything. I doubt Marzetti will like this. Beyond this sign... I was never a big athlete, but I don't have a choice. Just like a cat, my muscles contract, and my arms work as counterweights as I get ready to jump. A not-so-young-anymore cat with an alcohol problem and lungs full of tar. Now is not a good time.
I better think about it. Yeah. Slavonsky's father used to work with encryption. Maybe he can help me figure out what's in the notebook. go this time. Essex Street, Lower East Side. Okay. 